Hello, my YouTube people. I am filming from Turkey, from a beautiful resort spa called Kaplankaya Six Senses, where I'm holding various sessions for people. I'm holding workshops. And um, yeah, I'm a sexual energy coach and a sexual energy, sexual energy healer, the, the sex and relationship specialist and coach. And I'm really excited to be here and having just like an amazing time. It's just a beautiful location. If you have never been to Turkey, um, uh, Kaplankaya is a destination for sure. One of the largest spas in Europe or the largest spa in Europe. So we're, 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 I'm, I'm talking, I've been talking about sacred sexuality and I want to continue on that path. Today I want to talk about a specific aspect of really starting your practice of sacred sexuality, setting up for sacred sexuality, setting up you and your partner, setting up for it. Uh, you know, so I'm going to talk a little bit about how, are, how do you set up for creating a sacred sexual kind of practice with your partner. How do you go about um, telling your partner that, you know, this is something that you would really like to do? And, um, yeah, and talking also a little bit about how you can make it a really beautiful experience for both of you, okay? So, to start with, let's, let's look at, okay, you would like to go and we would like to start a sacred sexual practice, uh, but you're not sure if your partner is going to be into it, and maybe they're not even into it, and you've talked to them, and they're, they're just like, what are you talking about sacred sexual practice? What is this all about? And sometimes, um, you know, a lot of people don't really understand what this is, all, what this is, is about, that this is a kind of a, an exploration that you do as a couple, and this is a, a new opening, a new beginning for couples to explore sexuality in a very different kind of way. To, to now, you're gonna start connecting your heart with everything. I mean, you know, when you're in a love relationship, yes, your heart is connected to your um, sexual practice, but this is even a, this is a deeper level that you're gonna go. And you're gonna experience different kinds of, you know, you're gonna really start getting to the restorative aspects of sexuality, really restoring yourself. So you're gonna dive in to your desires and finding out what's going on in there and you're going to dive into deeper connections intimate connections with your partner and you have to each really start looking in individually who you are as a sexual being and what you desire to move forward in and you have to be flexible at the same time too because it's not it's about you know discovering your desires and um, allowing that to play through but also it's about being open and flexible to the change in how your desires are going, are going to go because they will change. So it's, it's a deep exploration. And, and so you, you, you know, just with your partner, it's just, you know, you're going to go into a gentle, gentle, um, <laughs> uh, transition of how you operate sexually. So make sure your partner's on board. Um, you can start watching these videos with me, with, you know, watching videos, there's other videos, lots of people are posting stuff around sacred sexuality. Um, tantric sexuality is part of this as well. You can start with my program called Deeper Us. It's kind of a gentle entry into this, starting with some simple exercises that help, help you feel each other at a deeper level. And I think it's really, really great for, for a couple who is really thinking like, let's let's do this, let's start. Let's, where do we go, where do we start? Well, this Deeper Us program is a, a direction. But you can start, um, you can start setting up for the sacred sexual practices. And this is a very important part and you don't necessarily need your partner to help you, you can, but you need to create an environment, a place where you're going to have as a sacred sexual place, a sacred location. Now this can be your bedroom. Okay, normally it is somebody's bedroom, but sometimes people have other rooms that they want to create into the sacred space. But how are you going to adorn it differently? So now it's not just the bedroom, it's the sacred explorative, exploratory space, right? How are you going to adorn it, right? You're going to, how are you going to, what kind of materials are you going to put in? You know, change, change it up, make it 
make it a boudoir, you know, make it, make it a really sensual kind of location with, with different colors and you know, maybe um, reds and purples and oranges. I mean, that's what I would do. Different pillows, that's what I have done, I should say. <laughs> um, flowy material, soft material. So you want to try to uh, open up all of the senses, especially the sense of touch to start with, the materials that you're going to be using. So when you're touching the materials, if you're lying in the bed or you're using a pillow, it's all a sensual kind of a feeling. Um, you want to create uh, a space that has, you know, lighting that's very sensual. So maybe you want to have candles around that you can, uh, candlesticks around where you can put your candles, or maybe you're gonna you're gonna get some kind of lighting that is, is a kind of a dimmer uh, ambiance. You want to make sure that you have something that is um, creates a an a aroma that's very sensual for 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 the experiences. So have incense available somewhere for you, uh, incense burner. Maybe you have some kind of a spray that you're going to use within the room that's going to be part of creating a really beautiful aroma. Maybe there's flowers that you can, but really, maybe you have a, even a little altar that you create that is part of your sacred sexual um, journey, right? So I, I would strongly suggest some kind of little altar that you start to put some very special things that are things that initiated you into starting this practice. And then you can add to it or you can put certain things that are erotic, erotically connected types of things I think are, are, um, are ultimately the best. But you know anything that you feel that connects you to your sensuality, your sexuality, to your sexuality, to your connection with your partner, creating a little altar where you could light the incense and when you come in, to this room once this is completed this is your sacred space this is where the two of you are going to come and you're going to have some sacred sexual experiences right it's not just the wham bam thank you ma'am anymore <laughs> this is going to be some really um profound experiences together and so you want to have the whole ambiance be part of this exploration so whatever it is for you, however that plays out for you, that is what you want to create within this space, okay? And so now you and your partner are, you're, you're going to get that space together. You're going to have a beautiful space that you're going to do this in. And um, yeah, now you want to, you want to find some information, right? <laughs> So you can follow me. I am going to keep discussing the processes of entering into a sacred sexual connection. Um, uh, you can get my program, Deeper Us. That is going to help you. It's going to start you off with eight weeks, one exercise per week. That's going to start you as um, the kind of exercise, the kind of connection, the kind of journey that you can go on together to open you up to your sacred sexuality. And um, you start the practice, start the practice. And I, and again, like, I think it's nice to go in kind of slowly and in a way that you're, you, both of you are going to start to feel comfortable and um, doing little exercises that can start to help you melt together, exercises that create a deeper intimacy with each other. Uh, you could certainly look into different kinds of tantric experiences that you could attend or a tantra workshops in your area take a tantra workshop take a tantra weekend workshop go to a tantra festival that's always a great that's always a great way to enter in and find out what's going on here what do we do what is this all about and it gives you an opportunity to talk to other people that are um, because usually at some at festivals for example there are people of all levels and offering all sorts of workshops so you can pick and choose what you'd like to try um, if you go to a workshop uh, then you know you're you're going to learn the initial steps of entering into these deep this deeper connection with your partner, and then you can take back what you've learned and put it into practice in your own home, and really dive in deeper, so that you can then eventually get to a place of transformation with each other through your sexual connection. 
So let me know in the comments below um, if you have started a sacred sexual practice, what it is that uh, you're, you're really enjoying about it. Maybe some comments about how uh, how you how you um, how you started your sacred sexual practice for others who are interested in starting out and how that began for you. Uh, for me, it was very organic because we didn't really we didn't really know what we were doing <laughs> when we started out. We just started exploring and we started to go to events. We started to um, we immediately actually set up our room in a very as a very sacred space. Um, I set it up with with beautiful bedspread and pillows and I had sheer curtains that were always flowing in the wind and we always had uh, music that was that, that we could play speakers for the music uh, places to light incense and candles and um, we had like wax nearby in case we wanted to use wax on our bodies and um, and we also and this is another thing that I didn't include but you may want to have some kind of clothes that you start, you know, you start to purchase some clothes that you wear for your sacred sexual experiences, some maybe lingerie or beautiful robe that you put on. So, so you can kind of initiate the, the feeling once you, you know, on that day or that time that you've put aside to actually have the experience. So that was my, my experience. I had a red robe, you know, that I would put on and he had a black robe and then that just took us into all sorts of directions <laughs> we we went into all sorts of directions including he got very interested in ropes and tying and so that became a whole sacred experience for us um, but you're gonna have your own journey and your own experience so start with setting up set up let me know let me know as well in the comments below what did you do to set up your sacred sexual space Okay, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for joining in today. Much love making from Turkey.